This is a review of the 5800X Ryzen 7 CPU for AM4. Now that uses for about a year, and this CPU has been really good to me in terms of video production, some gaming, um, just multi-thread, multi-core use, and it's it's an awesome CPU. Uh, this is what it comes with in the box. So Ryzen 7 5800X, and I, here I have it on my AM4 motherboard X570. This is a gigabyte. Oryx Elite Wi-Fi, and I'm using a knock to a fan. So as of right now, there are no issues with the CPU, but you should be concerned um, with BIOS mobile issues. So when I had this CPU installed, I kept on having these crashes on my computer where the computer would just freeze. And I forgot what settings I did on the BIOS, but you're gonna check pretty much uh, voltage settings to make sure that it fluctuates accordingly. Um, it took a lot of Reddit, Reddit threads to go through just to see what I could do to fix it. And ever since I did that, no more crashes. So let's look at Task Manager. You can see the CPU usage right now is 3.6 usually gigahertz at idle. It can go up to 4.7 if it's turboed. Low stress right now. On CPU Z, you can see this is right Ryzen 7 5800X, 105 watt, 3600 megahertz. It can boost up, and these are other stats you gotta worry about. This is the benchmark you expect uh, at idle or just low speeds. It can go up, of course. And I use this for video editing, and it does its job very well. So this CPU, it's a very good um, CPU if you want multitasking, video editing, and some gaming. Pretty much to do everything you need at once. And it's a good medium-range CPU that's not too high-end, but not too low-end. And it can get you by. Yeah, this CPU has been very solid for me for the last year. Um, although the BIOS issues were one thing that was annoying.